A poem that I'm really fond of says, Come when the nights are bright with stars, or when the moon is mellow. Come when the sun, his golden bars, drops on the hayfield yellow. Come in the twilight, soft and gray. Come in the night, come in the day. Come wherever you may, and you are welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is John Harrington, and I'm the Commissioner of the Department of Public Safety, and I want to extend an invitation to you all to join in a conversation on policing reform with statewide faith leaders. My goal is quite simply to have 50 statewide diverse faith communities participate in a safety and policing reform conversation. While I genuinely treasure the talks I have with all of my faith leaders, I'm hoping that you will come to the table having had conversations within your faith community. Now I'm old, but I can still remember the lecture on community policing where I was taught that the police are the public and the public are the police. Police are simply the people that are paid to give full-time attention to the duties that are incumbent upon every citizen in the interest of community welfare and existence. That's Robert Peel. But that lesson is still playing in my mind as we in the state take on the task of re-envisioning policing in a George Floyd world. Now, I want you to know I'm not asking you to become pulpit criminologists. This will be a curated curriculum to help guide your conversation with your faith community around seven real-life scenarios impacting policing and public safety. These two subjects, I believe, can't be separated. It's said that evil will win if good people do nothing. And yes, murder is most foul, whether committed under the knee of a cop or at the hand of a child firing a gun that strikes a baby on a trampoline. This summer, I've stood with men and women of faith reacting to evil. Babies shot and killed, women dying, gravestones to face, churches firebombed, mosques threatened, synagogues continually under threat. But I know that action has and always will beat reaction. And it's time for us to come together to define what we want, what we need, and what we must have in public safety for Minnesota. Please join other state leaders and me from the Minnesota Department of Public Safety as we define the beloved community policing model. Let your voices be heard from the rocky shores of Lake Superior to the cornfields of Houston County and from Aiken to Zambroda and from the east side of St. Paul to the north side of Minneapolis. Please join me in helping identify the mission and methods to achieve our common good. To register your faith community, please use the link included in this email. And if you have questions, please reach out to our partners from Interfaith Action, whose contact information is also included. Thank you and God bless.